This is Nate with Stray Blogger for training number five. Today's training is how to turn your keywords into high ranking pages. Now, again, if you have done your niche, uh, your niche research right, you'll have five money keywords that all rank excellent to good on that little keyword chart that was on the first training. And what you're going to do is basically make each one of those key phrases the title of five different pages that will go on your website. Um, so kind of the the outline of your your little niche blog would be you have okay so this is how it should be your your main money keyword that's also in your domain name you should write an article about that with just as much information as you can as much information as someone would want to know about that just kind of a general information article and and for that one you should aim for that to be at, at least a thousand words um, 1500 words is better and that will be the home page of your website then you're gonna have a squeeze page that all these other pages will link to um, and your uh, your article on your home page will link to that squeeze page like two or three times and then at the end again um, and the squeeze pa squeeze page will offer your freebie and <clears throat> the way you want to write each page is each article should kind of flow so that by the end of the article you've kind of um, whatever that person had searched for they landed on that page it should flow into them naturally being interested in what your freebie is. So if someone had searched for, back to our example, homemade peanut butter dog treat recipes, <laughs> or whatever that was, I don't remember at this point. Um, if that's what they'd been searching for, then your your freebie, you know, could be something like the you know your free get your free copy of the top five free homemade dog treats or something like that so at the end of each article or at the end of that specific article you know you would say so click here to get your free copy of the tastiest five organic dog treats I think you know what I mean um, so each article will link to the squeeze page and that's just a very simple layout it works it's very effective and then if you have a um, you should have an opt-in a pop-up opt-in page that pops up on every single one of your pages because if you've done this right um, you know people are gonna be most people especially if you've looked at your analytics for a little niche site um, usually someone doesn't go through all the pages on your site if you've looked at those patterns they will have their entrance page will be the keywords that they've searched for and that those same keywords that you've optimized a certain article for they land on that article and then I don't know most of the time that person clicks through to the squeeze page and a percentage of them opt in a percentage of them don't and that's pretty much how visitors what happens when they land on a little niche site so the idea is to not have them look around the whole you know the site and read all five articles um, but all five articles are going to relate and naturally flow to your freebie and so that's that's kind of the idea of how it would work um, so to get the most out of each article and hopefully this will clear up a lot of confusion on article marketing in general like people people ask this all the time on warrior forum and this is how it works once you publish the article on your own blog on your on your domain on your website um, I mean the best analogy there is is if if you were a recording artist and you had written a song or you know recorded a song and you you have your CD or whatever your album when that gets sent out to all the radio stations that it that doesn't get changed whatsoever so article directories are the fur are the exact same way 
um, after you have published it on your own site, you might you probably want to bookmark like social bookmark it on two or three of the biggest sites like Red Edit, Stumble Upon, or Dig, and uh, wait 24 hours. That way it'll get spidered and it'll get indexed. So once it's been indexed, then first what you want to do is go to Ezine Articles, and you want to submit it to Ezine Articles. After that has and, and that'll take a week or so unless you're already past that 10 article stage and you have expert status or whatever they do. Um, you wait till that article has been accepted to easing and then uh, you will go and you will submit it to in this order go articles, hub pages, buzzle, and then squidoo. Um, to buzzle you on that one you actually might need to reword it a little bit there they want completely original articles but everything I submit goes through and I mean it's really just the same article again I change a couple things but um, that's that's kinda of the idea that's very pow oh and then the, the other main thing is um, each article that you submit to these directories instead of using the same resource box that just points down points back to your home page you want to change each link so that it points back to the article on your uh, page. So to clarify that, if the article you wrote on your page was best organic peanut butter dog treats, when you submit that article to Hub Pages and to Buzzle and to Ezine and to Squidoo, you want the link to point back to that specific page on your site, not just your not just your root domain. Um, that way it increased that way your article on your blog is going to be what shows up in the results ahead of all you know these article start I article sites for your article because each one of them you have five articles on these five sites um, pointing back to your blog post or blog page so that's how you want to do that this is very powerful if you've and it works extremely well if you've done your niche research right this obviously will not get you ranked you know in a month for the keywords bodybuilding or anything like that obviously you've got to find these small niches that rank excellent to good on that little chart and this will work very well um, so yeah I just went over this it's pretty tedious this is where the rubber hits the road this is where most people give up they write one or two articles and they just kinda they end up looking around, buying another program, trying another tactic for a few weeks. This is where you need to clamp down, put your head down, pound out these articles. It's only five for each site. Um, well, that's not true. In my next training, I'm going to show you a tactic that works. That that you know to write some more articles um, based on something that most people never think of, and you know that'll get you basically double your traffic and in, in most cases it's doubled my traffic to these small niche sites but anyways um, for today you want to focus on these five articles based on these five main keywords and like I said it works very well if you've done your research right